What's up YouTube? I got a video here for you that's going to be a cracking video. It's going to consist mostly, well all the cracking is going to be Johnny, but I'm going to show you guys my mail haul that I got today. Uh, starting with this. I had the dirty version and I wanted to get the clean version of the same car with the same wheels and everything. So. I won this in an auction, so that was nice. Getting it a little bit cheaper than the buy it now price. So, I got that one. I got this. Little green machine. Uh, I'm not sure what number. So, that's pretty cool. And then I got another green machine, number 183 on the GTR. So, that was part of my mail haul. And then, um, a diecast uh, acquaintance of mine who I've known a little over a year um, we've traded and um, crossed paths a couple times he's a really good guy up in up in uh, northern Colorado but he is uh, an avid collector of very expensive cars and uh, he parted ways with some of his Auto World cars. So we have that. Both variations of the Roadrunner, which I have the red one loose. So I'll keep this one carded. These are going $20 to $30 now on eBay for the regular. Um, I also picked up the Ultra Red, which I, I ended up with two of these. So one of these will be cracked open at some point soon and then the uh, crown jewel of all of them the raw these are supposed to be limited to 10 but i guess there were some issues when this release came out the ultra raws were selling for a lot of money and a couple of guys at the factory made some extras which drove the value of this down because there's no way to tell if it's a legit raw or not. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but it's still a really valuable car. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to, I'm definitely not going to crack it. I, I can tell you that right now. This is one car that it's. I'm never going to be tempted to open. It's a beautiful car but as far as keeping it selling it trading it I don't know what I'm gonna do he sold it as a group I was trying to get him to split it up for this one because this doesn't come up on eBay very often there's been two to sell on eBay and the last one that sold was me buying it so I ended up with two which I'm okay with so this one will stay on card too and then the, this red one will stay on card, but I will crack the, the gray one. So that was part of it. Pretty good mail day. And then I went to the uh, club meet tonight and had a massive Johnny Lightning haul. Everything I got was Johnny except this. I picked this up. Modern Classic Grand National. Really cool car. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with that either. Got a good price on it, so I may trade it. Anyways, <clears throat> so let's get to the, the Johnny. I picked up the rest of the Bassin trucks from the guy. He was there tonight. So I'm going to crack one of these extended cabs. Um, in a video, not this one, but a video soon to come. And then the rest of it, you'll see, I'm just going to go down the stack and crack them one at a time. So we got four, eight, 12 cars, 12 Johnny Lightning cars, starting with the Rebel Rods, Bossa Nova, 1969, Nova SS, playing Mantis Era. My favorite era of Johnny. You can see water damage here. 
love Kraken Johnny. I don't know what the deal is, why I've been on such a Johnny binge lately. So here we have some what look to be water slide decals. So that's really cool. Those will could, those could come in, in handy. I'm not sure if they're water slides. Yep. Cool. Nice water slide decals. The car is sick. Little Boss Nova. Got a nice chrome finish on it. Metal base, rubber tires. Number 11, you got the black engine bay with the uh, painted or chrome engine. Really nice detail, headlights, SS. You got the indicators in the bumper, brake lights. That's a really nice Johnny Lightning car. Nicer than a lot of them. Really nice roller. So that one's sweet. I was pretty happy to find that. This one I was pretty happy to find too. What do we got here? I think this is Playing Mantis also. Yep, Playing Mantis. <clears throat> this one is from the Muscle Cars USA. 71 Dodge Demon. We do get a cardboard coin with this one. So one of twenty thousand. I'll put that coin with the ecto coin. And let's take a look at this. Dodge Demon 340. I love the little logo there. And this one's really well done too. You've got indicators on the rear quarter panel, the front quarter panel. It's a nice blue color. Got the rally stripes on the hood. Nice detailed grill. Metal base. Tampoed. It's a tampoed back end, but it's also sculpted, so those are three-dimensional. It's not just a it's not just a 2D tampo. Side view mirrors, nice two-piece plastic wheels. You got the chrome trim around all the glass, opening hood. Let's take a look under there. Nice big V8. Really cool car. I thought, uh, I one of the guys, he had a table set up and he had a ton of Johnny Light, Lightning I'm like, dude, you got a lot that I want. And he made me a bulk price, a really good bulk price. Uh, 12 cars. Uh, I paid less than, well, I paid about $3 a piece for all of them. Here's another one from the muscle cars. Uh, let me get the stupid coin out here. This is also one of 20,000. <coughs> so this little Chevy Nova 2, 1965, it also has the two-piece plastic wheels opening hood, but you have your indicators in the bumper with the painted headlights. It's a nice color on this car. Nice. Uh, it's a silver, but it has kind of a pinkish purplish tint to it really cool little Chevy I like that nice roller all right let's look at some showstoppers also from playing mantis we have Bill Shrewsbury LA dart these things are sweet a wheelie car so it has the little wheelie stand with it I like the graphics on this I think I saw this on Joe Motors channel 
and uh, it's a really cool car. The red and white stripes really pop. There's a lot of detail. It's got a really cool vintage racing look. You have the rear mounted big V8. You do have rubber tires with tread, metal base. You don't have the little trim details because it's a it's a track car. You do have some turn indicators here, but it's mostly just the sponsor badges. Nice roll cage in there. Really cool car though. I dig that car quite a bit. All right, another Hollywood Johnny Lightning Hollywood car from the Partridge family. Been trying to pick up as many of these Hollywood cars as I can. I feel like I've been doing a, a pretty good job of acquiring them as I come across them. And this one, I mean, three bucks. I think I, I paid three bucks for the Nash Bridges. I paid 12 for the Time Machine. Um, the Herbie is expensive. The Dukes of Hazard is expensive. Even the Time Machine is, it's come down a little bit, but nice to find them you know for three bucks the Te walker texas ranger was like 15 for that truck but it has slicks on it they are rubber tires metal base doesn't feel very tight but it's a cool truck or a bus in that it's um it's got the graphics from the partridge family bus so, pretty cool. I wish it was scaled a little better, but. So this one is from the uh, Johnny Lightning American Heroes, also from the Playing Mantis era. That's the SWAT truck. Really happy to get this. I've been wanting this casting from Johnny Lightning. I, I've been wanting it loose. I actually have the casting I have it in the back to the future diorama which I'm not gonna open it's just in too good a condition I might get a, a lesser condition back to the future diorama to crack it this thing is super heavy it does have true dualies yeah those are actual dualies in the back um, all six tires are rubber tires with tread metal base you can see all the little rivets got a really nice light bar with the siren you have your warning lights above the cab turning indicators headlights all painted painted grill just really nicely done the wheels are blue to match the truck. Brake lights. That's just a really, really nice, really well done truck. Really nice roller too. Staying on that theme, found uh, some Rebel Rods. Tonado 2000 Ford F550. And these cards, some of them have water damage hopefully these decals aren't affected those I I will use at some point or I'll get them to somebody that will use them but don't have any Johnny Lightning tow trucks so uh, yeah these are just cool another dually metal base rubber tires with tread you've got your step ups Really nice detail. Painted headlights, indicator, grill. A nice light bar, little sun visor. Just really, really nice. Got your toolbox here.
painted side view mirrors. Really cool truck. Really nice roller. <coughs> All right, so we got another one of those from the the classic gold. This one is the F450. I think I like this one a little bit better. It's not hot rotted out. It looks a little bit more realistic. Get the card out. So it still has a metal base. It's a black painted metal base. True dualies, rubber tires with tread. Got your opening hood. A lot of sculpted detail. No painted, no painted detail. It's all black. Closing hood, white interior. Uh, it's the Clark's service, painted step ups. I like these little wreckers. Got all your little levers. Got your uh, diamond plate there on the back. It's just a ton of detail on these things. So that is pretty rad. Another really nice rolling truck. So these last four, I don't even know what order to do them in. I've been eyeballing these on uh, eBay. I think they go about $10 a piece. I could be off on that, but it's one of my favorite castings uh, that Matchbox does. And I do love these castings, but they are all the Dodge A100. And we're going to start with Frank. Monaghan's Dodge. They're all drag trucks that come with wheelie stands. <clears throat> and they're heavy. It's metal. Metal body, metal base. Slits on the back. They are rubber tires. Front ones do have tread. Really nice graphics. A lot of colors here. Got your little uh, Fruit Loop looking things behind the door. Your rainbow flames. Painted bumper, painted grill, painted headlights. Got your parachute here in the back. There's your motor. Really nice truck. Really heavy. Really cool addition to the collection there. Uh, another wheelie. Then uh, the next one that we'll do is Doug's Headers. You know, I thought three bucks a piece. I paid, he sold me all 12 cars for 35 bucks. So what's that? 12, I guess that's closer to four. Four dollars a piece, or no? Yeah, it is. It's less than three dollars a piece. That's to me. That's a steal. I don't think you'd find these anywhere for that price. Certainly wouldn't find them on eBay for that price. But same casting, same deal with the tires, same deal with the parachute and the motor. Just a different color, different graphics. This one is loaded up with sponsor badges, which I like. It gives it that vintage racing look. So you got Mr. Gasket, Champion, Flowmaster, Krager, Pennzoil. It's a lot of pretty big names. Really sharp looking truck. So. Another awesome one for the collection there. All right, got two more. <clears throat> so this one is the Dodge Thunder Wagon. One of the things I really love about this is that it's in the Mopar colors. 
that red, white, and blue, kind of like that new blue collar Dodge truck, the direct connection truck from uh, Greenlight. GE Shumper. This is just awesome. Can't believe I found all of these in one one haul. I was thinking I was gonna have to get them one one at a time. So I don't know which one I like the best. I like all of them. The last one here, I I could be wrong, but for some reason. I think this is the most popular, the Little Red Wagon. It's the original wheel stander. I love that it has a Johnny Lightning sponsor badge. And the real truck had the Johnny Lightning sponsor badge. So these are all based on real trucks. Yeah. I like this. It's a kind of a deep red or burgundy. Same deal with the tires. Looks on the back. I love that Johnny Lightning sponsor badge. That is sick. And they're just super heavy, chunky castings. Alright, so 23 minutes in. Sorry the video took so long. Hopefully you were entertained. I feel like there was some pretty good stuff there being cracked open. Not as good as last night, but I can't open stuff like that. Last night is a once every couple of years type of crack. But uh, which one of these do you guys like? Here, we'll take a look at the Chevy. But here are the Dodge A100s. I don't know, they all look really good. The Wrecker. Alright, well thank you for checking out the video. I'll get this uploaded and uh, I'm sure I have something else on deck. So probably won't be anything else tonight, but thank you for checking it out. Please subscribe and I will holler at the next video.